Hi, we are Tom and Bear, brothers and travelers extraordinaire, and this is Trains Are Awesome. In this channel, we take you along with us on trips we make by train and other public transportation around the world. If you like what you saw today, please consider subscribing to Trains Are Awesome for more cool content. In our last video, we hopped on an easy jet plane to Palma de Mallorca. Mallorca is a Mediterranean island that belongs to Spain. On the island, of course, we had to try out the train system, and we took the train to the cities of Inca and then a bus to Alcudia. We did a lot of walking, so at the end of the day we were pretty exhausted. We spent the night in our youth hostel, and that's where we'll start today. Today we'll show you the Tren de Soleil station in Palma. We'll spend some time at one of the city's nicest beaches, and then we'll get on an easy jet flight to Berlin, the capital of Germany. In Berlin, we'll take different modes of transportation like the bus, S-Bahn, and U-Bahn to our hotel. study room. Sleeping in a hostel like this is an interesting experience. I had to run because I wasn't sure what the person coming out of the room would be wearing. It's a little bit uncomfortable because these clothes of course turned out to be co-ed, but I mean my roommate and his girlfriend didn't bother us too much. It's a nice place. If you're in New York, uh, urban hostel Palma, check it out. Summer mornings. Is there anything better than a summer morning? Summer evening. Summer evenings. You're okay. right. Good morning, folks. We are, like I said, on day two of our Mallorca trip. It's beautiful out. There's a church in the background. There's birds chirping. There's a lady writing tickets. Um, where are we going today? Um, let's go to the beach. You know, beach sounds good. One thing for all travelers during COVID-19 to be aware of is, um opening times so if you google a store chances are that store might be closed and that's not only true here in palma that's true most places in europe have been since the outbreak of this virus our youth hostel was on the opposite side of the city from the main transportation hub at plaza de españa but we didn't mind a walk through the beautiful city Palma currently has a population of about 400,000 people, but this city has been around since 124 BC. It was founded by the Romans and was later occupied by both the Byzantines and the Moors. Currently is the capital of the Balearic Islands. This behind me is the beautiful train station of the Tren de Soleil. It is an electric train that goes to the village of Soleil. Trains only run two times a day and they're quite expensive. It's 25 euros round trip, but they're heritage wooden tram. Unfortunately, because they only run twice a day, we weren't able to see one, but even the station area is beautiful and there's a cute cafe up front. So we just spent the entire day in the city of Palma because really that's all we wanted to do. So we walked around the city a little bit and then we went to the beach where we spent the last few hours and the weather is so nice. The water is chillier than yesterday but it's really great. We're about to do a few groceries and then get on bus line A1 back to the airport because we're flying to Berlin. So 
that was the bus. It drops you off right in front of the departure hall. It's five euros, so it's kind of expensive, but it, it was early. All our EMT buses have been early. All our TIB buses have been late. And now we're at the airport. The airport was very empty, despite the fact that Palma de Mallorca Airport usually handles about 28 million passengers every year. Here's our EasyJet flight pulling in. Before we knew it, we were saying goodbye to this Mediterranean paradise. I'm going to miss this Mallorcan weather. Those two over there are stressing out a little bit because the plane's not balanced well. But that's good because we just got upgraded to the front and a window seat with more leg room. Thanks, EasyJet. I'm very glad the plane will be in balance, but I am hoping that we're not the ones who make that difference. We didn't need that much. I have to say, this was a very relaxing flight. This lady behind us decided to take a nap, and honestly, that wasn't such a bad idea. I closed my eyes for a little bit, but when I opened them, it was dark in the plane. We were flying over Germany at this point, around Stuttgart, and before I knew it, I looked out the window, and there was the city lights of Berlin. Now our flight was flying to Berlin Tegel Airport, which is a very old airport in the city that is about to be shut down in favor of the new Brandenburg Airport. Willkommen in Deutschland. Baron, where are we? My ears closed. I We're at Berlin Tegel. Wow, this place has the interior of a hardware store. Or like a fire station or something. What are we riding next? Uh, a bus? Looking at those screens, it turns out we were the last flight to come in today. There's the buses. Go get... Go get tickets. So though we went separate times, for both of us, this is our second time in Berlin. It's my first time in the bus, actually. S-Bahn! The door's closing bell on the Berlin S-Bahn is the same as on the Rotterdam subway.
made it to Berlin. We're at Alexanderplatz, as you can tell. My phone's about to die. We're here waiting for a friend. Then we'll go to the hotel and I'll debrief you there. coming tonight and we're gonna explore Berlin with him tomorrow um, but I thought I'd debrief here so Mallorca was beautiful yeah, it's known as the party island but honestly even if you're not that type of person you can have a lot of fun there's beautiful beaches the weather is amazing um, the trains are fun to try out which you saw in my last video and Berlin Berlin is a place in I'm so excited to be in a big city again it was 11.30 and the subway was crowded. That's like a dream to me. As for the flight, um, both EasyJet flights have been very stable. No turbulence. I love the seats. I remember this from way back when I flew EasyJet. The seats are very comfy. Flying with Corona is different all the time. You have to wear your mask. And they make sure you cover your nose too. Um, but there's no more spacing in between seats and there's just a little bit of a different procedure getting off the plane. Friend is here. Our hotel is in Alexanderplatz, a major square in Berlin and this used to be part of East Berlin. Well, I'm going to call it a night to make sure to subscribe. Join us next time as we visit some well-known Berlin spots and some lesser known ones. See you there.